Welcome friends to another episode of TBL in my kitchen and today I have something super special for you. We are going to be grilling some fresh trout. We are currently in Colorado close to the mountains and rivers and Bill happened to be talking to a neighbor here at the campground that loves to go fishing and told him, hey, would you like some trout? He came and asked me and said, hey, the neighbor would like to bring you some trout. Would you like it? Of course, there is nothing as delicious as fresh trout, especially if you get an opportunity to get it as fresh as this coming basically straight straight from the river here in the Rocky Mountains. So I So I have this beautiful, beautiful ingredients on here and it's going to be a super simple recipe. It's going to be brown rice and a cucumber tomato salad. And this is what inspired me on the cucumber tomato salad. So this is just absolutely delicious and of course you gotta have some citrus whenever it comes to making fish. This recipe is going to be for two trout. I should just go ahead and wash the vegetables. Let's just go ahead and wash the vegetable. Let's get started with the vegetable. All right. You guys want to come over and wash vegetables with me? Wash some tomatoes. See how to wash your tomatoes. It's only going to be Bill and me, so I'm not going to be making a lot of salad. This is going to be servings just for two, so I'm only going to be using two tomatoes. Yes. I should go ahead and get the fish out and get it rinsed and pat it dry so I can start getting to room temperature before we actually put it on the grill. So. Here's the fish. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this and pat it dry and put it on a cookie sheet. And through the power of editing, this fish will be in a tray. Put some paper towels down so you can pat dry your fish. And here it is. You got rainbow trout. That's already been gutted and it's going to be two of these. Fishy, fishy, hey. We love fish in this household. I am going to be delicious. salad here's the list of ingredients you're gonna need here it is you're going to need half of a cucumber two tomatoes probably about a quarter cup of feta cheese and some red onion and salt and pepper to taste and this is gonna be serving for two this recipe is going to be very light uh, this can also be a keto recipe I will be making this with some brown rice but you can just have the fish with the cucumber salad it is just as delicious and a cool trip to make it look pretty grab it and score it down
this is a super delicious summer salad and so simple and especially if you have like some really good tomatoes like these that I found at the store I mean look at these you guys they're just absolutely beautiful and plump and for this salad you can do olive oil you can do salad dressing you can do salted pepper you can do lemon pepper that is also a favorite Bill doesn't like onion a lot, so we just need enough just for flavor for the salad. And we're also gonna need some for the fish, so. Okay. So there it is, super simple. Tomato. Cucumber. We're gonna let that rest, and before serving, we're gonna go ahead and put some feta cheese. I'm gonna wait and put the salt in my salad just before serving because if you put salt with the cucumber and the tomato, the salt will draw the moisture out of your vegetables and you don't want like that juice that goes on the bottom. But look how delicious this looks. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and flavor the fish. We're gonna need a couple slices of red onion couple slices of lemon and we're gonna finally chop some garlic and some butter with some olive oil <sighs> wow and it's a very sad recipe I need to remove the onion from the equation. Oh my god, my eyes. So now we have our onions and our lemon. And we're going to use fresh garlic. So we're going to slice a couple of cloves. Actually, I might even put them in the mini chopper because I love garlic. And after all this crying with the onions, I don't know about all that nonsense. Wow, I gotta work for it, don't you? Seven cloves of garlic. We're gonna put them in the mini chopper here. Now we have perfectly chopped garlic. Cilantro, and it smells delicious. You can also use parsley, you can use dill, you can use any fresh herbs, actually. So we're gonna start with the fish and our stuffing ingredients.
serve the fish with some brown rice. I'm just gonna use good old fashioned minute brown rice. I substituted the water on the rice for some chicken broth. To me, it just gives it a little bit more flavor. You can use plain old water, that's up to you. And once you have preheated your grill at medium high temperature, go ahead and put your pouches on there. And the fish is going to take approximately about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes to cook. I'm gonna do 10 minutes on each side and then we'll be ready to eat. And in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this fabulous view. And okay, so after five minutes on medium high, flip them over once. Five minutes on each side. Close the lid and then after the first five minutes, turn the heat down to low and then do another seven to eight minutes on each side. All I can hear is the cows and the sizzling. This fish is gonna be so good. It is super fresh. It's on low and the temperature is 375. So this is an awesome place. Some advice that was given to me by Katie when she was traveling with us. She always told us, go local and find local. We found some great stuff in New Mexico. And um, here in Colorado, you have the mountains, you know, it's outdoors. No. What are the odds, right? I mean, we're out here shooting a cooking video outside and first it's pickup truck and then it's got a four wheeler and it's pretty secluded out here until you want to come out here and film for YouTube, right? Hello, Mango Tango. Hey, Mango Tango, just to let you know that this dang old barbecue down up here with this fish grilling is probably gonna be about starting in about 10 minutes. All right, the timer is up, so I went ahead and turned off the gas and uh, the burners, so I'm just gonna leave the lid closed. It's still 375 degrees. We're gonna run inside and make the rice real quick, and this will just finish steaming inside the aluminum foil and getting all delicious. So let's go inside and make the rice. Bill is behind the camera. He hasn't seen the fish yet. Smoking. Smoking. Yes, it's dinner time. What time is it in Colorado? It is 7.30, guys. We're having a late 7.30 dinner. And what can I say? We're happy that we're back doing the RV lifestyle. Like I said, advice from Katie, go local. We got some local fish. Nobody I would be friends with. What makes the salad is just so delicious. Here is our brown rice. Always double or triple or quadruple the ingredients. These onions got me crying. And here comes the four wheeler. 